Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick of the trade on something you guys can do. If you're having a guy trying to throw an overhand right or a right cross over top of you, okay, and he's trying to, they're trying to throw it over top of your guard, something that you can do. If I'm the taller boxer and I'm boxing Danny and Danny's throwing a right overhand right over the top of me or he's throwing a right cross, and he's trying to come over top of my guard, what I can do, and like I said, a lot of this comes down to the basic foundation that I go over in, in my instructional video. So go to the website, worldclassboxinggym.com, get those instructionals, because this is gonna make a lot more sense when you guys, and it's gonna be a lot more effective when you have the basic stance down and the footwork that I break down in, in, in those videos. Okay, so what I'm talking about is my left shoulder's higher than my right shoulder. My, my right, my head's over, over my right foot and I got the distance and I got the height and reach on him and he's trying to throw a right hand over the top of my guard. Okay, he's a boom, he's, he could hit me with that. He throws it overhand, he could throw it overhand right. Boom, he's throwing it overhand right. Okay, so what I can do, okay, I got more, I got more distance to be able to, to deal with that because of the basic stance, okay? I got more distance to be able to handle that. If I'm on my front leg like this, he could throw that right hand, overhand right. He could throw the overhand. Boom, I'm closer to getting hit. Okay? Now, if I put myself, see that's squaring my shoulders up more. I'm on my front leg more. Okay, now when I put my weight on my back leg, I can point more. Now I got this left shoulder higher than the right shoulder. Now when he tries to throw that shot, all I got to do is, is throw that hand right to his ear, and now I'm gonna stop that punch, okay? Now, all I'm doing is I'm bowing to the right at the same time I'm doing it. And there's no way he's getting that distance. And now, I got my hand in the position, I got my hand, I can hook him behind the head, I can throw an uppercut, I can go to the body, I can do whatever I wanna do, okay? So, he's throwing that right hand over the top, and I'm just doing that right there. His punch is coming, and I'm right there like that. So a lot of times the guys say a right hand, you throw the right hand, and this is a good move, you throw the right hand at me, and I just and I just bow down. I can bow down this way. Bow. You try to throw the overhand right, I bow, okay? I bow down, I could step in. I could bow down and step in. Boom. Okay. You throw a straight right hand, of course I can roll it, I can block it, I can roll with it. Like I said, if you try to throw something over the top looping, I can step in and bow down, I could step in and bow down, okay? So that move is a little bow and you put in the arm right in between, okay? So in other words, you're throwing it and I'm going here, okay? You're throwing it over the top and, and I'm just there. You try to throw that over the top and I'm there now I can hook you. Uh -huh. Very slick move. If you try to throw the overhand right, when I bow, look at that, mm. see that? And I'm back here, so you can't get it. I ain't got, and I got my hand extended here, so that's all blocked. And now I can hook you behind the head, and I can hit you with whatever. Just a, just a real slick move. And um, I put a little clip in there for you guys to see, see it in real action. The great Ray Robinson used to do it all the time. You know, like I said, what, what he's doing there is, like I said, the guy's trying to throw over the top of him. He was the taller boxer a lot of times, and guys were trying to throw over the top, and, and he would bow, and he'd be right there. He'd go like that. He'd bow down. He'd go like that. Now he's, now he's got you here, and he's able to throw the right uppercut in there. Do it again. He's going here. Boom. Now he's able to throw, boom, right uppercut. He's able to control you, hook you with his hand, and throw the right uppercut. All that kind of stuff. If the guy just throwing it like a right cross over the top, he just bowling down like that, okay? And now he's able to step in, boom. And he's able to hook you behind the head. He got his hand back there and he's able to do all that. And he can control you, he could do this. He got here like this, boom. I could turn the guy, I can do whatever I want to do with the guy, okay? If you go to my weaving uh, 
how to weave the true art of weaving. And I show you how if a guy's hooking behind your head, what you can do and how you got to weave to be able to, what the differences are. So make sure you guys check that video out as well. And I really appreciate all your guys' support. Can please continue to do so. Go to the website, worldclassboxinggym.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Give me your guys' uh, feedback and comments on the videos of how you like them. And uh, also, when you go to the worldclassboxinggym.com website, you got, I got all my social media uh, links on there so you guys can follow me. And I really appreciate all your guys' support again. And I'll see you guys next time.